The NHS sees more than one and a half million patients a day. And someone who's experienced that care firsthand is children's author and COVID survivor, Michael Rosen, accompanied by his daughter, Ilse. Hi there. Hi. It's so nice to see you. Well, nice to see you Thank too. Thank you for coming in. What have you brought in for us? Okay, well, let's get them out. So this is my patient diary, or as I call it, my very patient diary. Um, <laughs> So this was written by nurses when I was in an induced coma for about 40 days, in intensive care for about 48 days. My goodness. This was in March 2020. So this is very early days yeah. of oh, COVID. Yes. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pioneer. Oh. Yes. <laughs> One of the worst things was thinking of him alone in hospital, which obviously he wasn't, he was being cared for. This is handwritten by all the nurses in the diary. They're watching me every day and telling me what's going on. This moment in time, they've been pulled in from different yeah. wards. They're risking their lives. Yes. Nobody uh, really knew about this, yes. this virus going and around. And some of them died. We have to remember that. Yeah. Some of those nurses and helpers died, particularly in the early stages. These people saved my life many times. What's wrong with yeah. it? Why have you brought it in? Right, because it's falling apart and this entry here uh, has actually come uh. out. So I'm very much hoping that you guys can make it so that it'll last forever and ever and ever and ever. That you do that sort of thing, <laughs> but you do magic, don't you? Well, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. so I guess it's preserving it for the future. Yes, I think, you see, every time I, I open it and look at it, I, I destroy it. And it's very sad uh, that it might fall apart. So I've got to ask about these beautiful illustrations and drawings. These are letters that children sent to me. Not that I know about it, because uh, I was in the coma, but these are saying things like, um, get well soon, which is quite appropriate, really. Um, and uh, there is a picture of somebody with bananas in their ears. That's obviously to encourage me to uh, also get better. Um, uh, get well soon, I've got a rainbow there. That's lovely, isn't it? It's amazing that you've got this pile of these beautiful illustrations and get well soon notes, but what are you hoping Chris can do with them? Maybe if you could bind them together in some way so that um, they're kind of displayed within the binding, so I kind of open it and look at it and uh, I can just live with it. Well, I'll have fun with that. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you so much for bringing these in and trusting Chris with these precious pieces of paper. Well, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 I thought I would just start at the page that had actually fallen out that Michael pulled out. And this is where it goes. So this is the heat sensitive Japanese tissue. Just get it into position. This is a heated spatula and the heat from the spatula is activating the glue on the back of the Japanese tissue. And I just need to rub along there and it'll then join on. I almost feel like I'm a surgeon with a very precise tool. Well, that's the, the first one and the result, I'm really pleased. I've got a long way to go, but it's a good start.